to a cunning prophet of time traveling daredevilry. The exter in the magpie was a big, bold beezy of a bird, cunning but conspicuous, flying in juxtaposed, vice-ridden, hamburger-eyed, technicolor, and monochrome. A medium format middle child miracle descended from Frisco's giant crows. She's been known to fly with a Dodger Blue Jay for safety and convenience here or there. Aerodynamic and delicate yet ferocious when provoked, a bird so steady in flight that even faith in God, heart and time, both stopping and starting couldn't keep her on this plane. Watch her fly with a long tail, uniform pattern, even more beautiful when whizzing by. Chilling in graveyards, open fields, sleepy beach towns, friendly and curious in her small group, foraging for shiny objects at the bottom of a Mickey's green brown paper bag, kickbacks, black and proud, but more than hip hop or sportswear, dirty kicks with an overflowing closet. This bird was hardcore. She took risks to win wit and will at her leisure. Four cymbal crashes and the mosh pit lights up with flailing white boy geese and dirtbag ducks. But the magpie remains unfazed, screaming her self-taught words to tame and teach into a microphone behind a peat pole inside an ink-stained and incensed ash notebook. While there was often joy, love, and lasting fortune, mirages of the mind, teenage tricksters, and industry deception were omens. But I guess that's what alternative black girls with cameras dangling from our necks are. Duality, opposites, inverted negatives, the smooth G-funk of Long Beach and the grit of NorCal thrash, hippie San Francisco thrown in. They say the magpie was a devout witness bringing light to messy bedrooms, multilingual street preacher prophecies. I say you can find the magpie just about anywhere in the world if you look into her lens. <laughs>